Welcome back to watching Sports Live. Now, preparations for the World Netball Championships in Sydney, Australia in August have stepped up a gear with most of South Africa's top netball players taking part in an intensive two-week training camp in Pitori. Now, one of the world's most experienced and successful coaches, Norma Plummer of Australia, joined to coach, well, to help the coach of the senior national team, that's Benny Simon, as they put together the players through their paces to go to the championships. And joining me right here, you saw before the break, is that person himself, Benny Simon, ma'am. Welcome Good to Sports day. Live. Thank debut. you very much. It's your debut here? Uh, yes, ah. yes, of course. But we've had Mimi, uh, Mum Mimi, for quite a while. We've had the netball ladies quite a while, but it's good to have you here. No, it's a pleasure to be here and feel good to be here. Before we, sp before we, 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 we came back off, 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 uh, off the break, we discussed the fact that it's not your first rodeo in as far as netball in South Africa is concerned. You've been there before, so you kind of have a gist of what needs to be done and what's going on. Yes, as... Uh, as we all know, it's not a very easy seat to sit on. It's a very, uh, uh, not a very uh, uh, f comfortable chair, mm -hmm. as I can mention it like that. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I think I feel myself uh, experienced enough to do it again. So, uh, yes, and we are looking forward to it. Mm. A lot of challenges, but... Yes. I mean, the past couple of weeks, have you, as you saw in the intro, you, you have been taking the girls through their paces. How is it looking? Because I know South Africa, as far as their history is concerned, in netball, we've had a proud history. So much so that most of these countries, especially the Kiwis and the Aussies, they steal our ladies. So <laughs> it's always a, a case of wanting to put one over them. So prep-wise, where are we in as far as looking ahead at the Wells? Well, at the moment, we are six months away to the World Cup. Um, Norma uh, worked with the players and uh, it is amazing, you know, that it is the pre-season mm. and uh, they are not fit yet, but uh, they worked very hard and uh, I think they enjoyed every moment. We've learned a lot as coaches, so and we are looking forward to just take it from here and to work towards all the competitions that are coming. Mm. Let's take it from the top, from the beginning. I mean, as far as Ben is concerned, you come in, you, you, you've been there before. You've come from another coach who, again, has had the experience. Um, unfortunately, she had to leave for personal reasons and as far as, mm. as, as her job is concerned. Where do we start? I, mean, I don't want to say to fix things because you really can't fix something that's not broken. It's a matter of, of, of taking the right boxes, so to speak. You come in now to the new job. What is the plan? Uh, the plan is, you know, you can't change at this stage because it's, it's, we don't have two or three, four years. So we will take from, from, from what she left and we can just continue on that. And of course, you know, you have your own ideas and uh, uh, that is what we are going to do. Mm. And the buy-in obviously from the Federation, it always helps when they come to the party and give you the utmost uh, support as well. They do, yes. And we are glad they are there to support us. Mm. We're looking at some of the Fast Five competitions. I, mean, I always enjoy having the, com uh, the, the conversations around the Fast Five and around you know, netball proper, so to speak, because these are two challenging and different aspects of the game. But it's always good to, to I mean, you look at the, the Fast Five aspect of the game, you look at netball proper, as I would call it. Yeah. Wh where do you balance it? I mean, because it's always nice to have those players, because they look like they, they play their part. It looks like they, it's, it's a different ball game, so to speak. Well, it's totally a different ball game. Uh, it's only five players on mm. court. And it's a very fast, fast type of play. Uh, it is exciting. But um, yes, I think they prefer the normal netball. Mm. Where, do you, where do you see South Africa's strengths, I mean, in terms of netball, if you can put it that way? I mean, hence I'm saying we, we always want to compare ourselves with the Aussies, with the English, with the, with the Kiwis. Where, where are our strengths and where can we probably improve on to actually get back to one, two in the world? <laughs> Yeah, it's not so easy, you know, we need to compete against professional people. Uh, they are professional, which we aren't not. Uh, but it's a slow, it's a slow process, but I think uh, we are slowly on our way um, to climb the, la the ladder. So, yes, and we're looking forward to it. Mm. I mean, I uh, look at the competition like the Fast Five or the Brute Food uh, Championship, so to speak, here at home. How well is it doing in terms of being a feeder? for you at national level to get those players? Because I mean, as you're saying, not, we're not professional enough because that comes back to, yeah. do we have the leagues? Do we have the capacity in terms of putting professional leagues together to, to, to get competition of that yes. high caliber? Uh, we will of course play this year again. 
the brutal fruit and that is helpful you know they uh, will continuously be exposed to competition which is a good thing and that will also assist us you know to a competition which will be um, during the brutal fruit we will be playing in a in a uh, in Ireland in a European mm -hmm. uh, challenge or championships and uh, yes that's exposure and of course after that we have another uh, diamond uh, series which is all also a competition so it's a lot of um, exposure to them mm -hmm. and I think that's what we need but especially if we can keep on because the brutal fruit cup is for five five weekends mm -hmm. and uh, yes and it's hard you know we our girls are not um, uh, really uh, uh, up, not up to it, but they're not used to it, uh, and we can't compare this competition to the ANZ of Australia yeah. and New Zealand. But at least we've started, and that's a good thing. I mean, you look at, uh, and my director's telling me we've got a minute left to go, so I'm going to squeeze in one, one more question. You look at the d development wise, and as far as IF is concerned, I mean, there are kids out there. I mean, you go to your action sports venues and you see kids wanting to play. So there is capacity in as far as youngsters and development. It's just like you're saying, that gap when you get to the professional level, that kind of falls away because there is not much and as far as professional yeah. uh, netball is concerned. But uh, uh, we are looking, Netball South Africa are looking at the, the program for development. And I think in all our districts, we, we are developing people. There's a lot of talent outside. Uh, and we just need to go out, get those people, and bring them along. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, try and, and ask whether we're gonna win the worlds, <laughs> but I'm gonna put it there. Coach, are you here? South Africa's watching. They would like to realistically, ideally, know what uh, or how we'll do at the world. Uh, well, we can't uh, promise anything, but at least um, we are confident, and uh, we would love to lift our ranking yep. at the moment, as we are sixth. If we can lift it to five or four, yep. and the medal will only be uh, a bonus. Two years away after that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Simon, we hope so. <laughs> coach, boss lady of the senior national women's team, this is netball. You know I played netball as well? You? Well, it's a long story. I had cousins, so they're all ladies, so I was forced to play netball. It's <laughs> <That's> wonderful. Thank <laughs> you very much there, Benny, for speaking to us right here on Sports Live. We'll take a quick break right here on Sports Live. In fact, my boss tells me, no, we go to, yes, we do take a break when we come.